This is a modern cooling tower under installation. This is the cooling water return header and these are the individual riser pipe with isolation valve going to each cooling tower cell. On the individual riser pipe, one inverted U-type vent has been provided. Size of this vent is same as size of the riser pipe and height of the vent is about 2 meter above the cooling tower fan deck level so that return water will go to cooling tower cell and will not come out through this vent line. Now what is the purpose of this same size vent line? This is an old cooling tower where riser pipes are coming from underground cooling water return header and going directly to cooling tower cell without any such vent pipe. This is also an old cooling tower where riser pipes are coming from underground cooling water return header and going directly to cooling tower cell without any such vent pipe. Now, as technology has improved, it has become necessary to provide cooling tower return line vent due to mainly two reasons. First reason to escape any non-condensable gases from cooling water. When cooling water flows through various coolers, there is a chance that cooling water may get mixed with any non-condensable fluids. Second reason of this vent line is, in case of any sudden rupture of cooling water return line or rupture of cooler tubes, lot of water will come out from the cooling water return line suddenly, causing partial vacuum in cooling water return line. Due to this sudden vacuum, nothing will happen to the metallic cooling water line, but due to this sudden vacuum, soft PVC films inside the cooling tower may be damaged. To prevent this sudden vacuum, this vent line has been provided.